everyone, I am Dr. Rajkumar Sahu from the Department of General Surgery, Jimsar Vishakapatnam. My problem statement is to device it, to find a portable device that can identify organism associated with wound infection more accurately and uh, accurately and precisely. See, wound is a term which we all are aware of. Wound is a pathological or the disease condition of the skin that can be caused by various factors. There are, but Detecting wound is the key factor here. Now, wound can be detected by two ways. One is by the clinician and other is by investigation methods. Clinician, the method it depends upon is very non-specific. It depends upon the experience of the uh, clinician or the physician or the surgeon who is seeing the wound clinically. It varies with the uh, surgeon or the physician who is examining it. Say, my experience and my teacher's experience are different in identifying the organism or the wound but the other method of identifying is biochemical or microbiological the problem with this method is it takes time it can it cannot detect accurately what organism is there at that particular point of time it takes at least 48 to 72 hours to tell us what particular organism is affecting the wound so the problem with this is there are certain, some patients where detection of the wound at uh, accurately and immediately is very important especially in those who are immunocompromised like diabetic patients moreover there are some patients where the clinical signs are non-specific means it could be inflammation which is not infection it is inflammation so detecting and differentiating inflammation and infection at the early stage is very difficult so if we can detect whether there is underlying infection or it is simply an inflammation the treatment is different for both of them now in the market there are so uh, you know so many researches have been done which can detect the the markers in the wound these markers are of again different type one is physiological biomarkers and there are specific biomarkers the physiological biomarkers like ph of the wound the skin impedance the uric acid content of the wound and so on and so forth but they are they can only detect whether there is infection or not they can't particularly point out to what particular organism is causing that infection but others have also studied some specific uh, biomarkers or markers of the wound like pyocyanin for pseudomonas uh, dna sequencing for staphylococcus aureus there are other biomarkers like l tyrosine so all these are there but they are only different they have not clubbed together so if we can find out a way first if we break our aim into two parts first is that we have to detect whether there is wound infection or not and if we found that wound infection is there and simultaneously if we can detect by the order or by the wavelength or the radiation which these microorganisms emit by um, some particular device which can club all this like identify the wound and specify what type of organism is causing that will bring a revolutionary change in our surgical practice now why it is important is one is for the patient himself because he can get his immediate treatment and accurate treatment at an appropriate time the other is it can save their expenditure which we use to uh, roughly by estimating that this could be the organism and we lump them with antibiotics because these patients progress to severe sepsis immediately within fraction of time the other thing is it can also save us from unnecessary investigations and the lab time to treat the patients. Third, it helps in preventing the resistance to the microorganism which is very prevalent in these days because we are empirically treating them, awaiting for our culture sensitivity report which takes at least 48 to 72 hours in a very good setup. So my aim is that if we can really find a solution to this that identify the wound whether wound infection is there or not in a wound particular organism which can identify it now coming to the other spectrum there are certain devices which has detected fluorescence or the uh, wavelength or the rays which the fluorescent waves or the fluorescent rays which microorganisms are emitting in their wound there are so many poc machine or real time machine which are identifying them so i think with all these hints it will be really helpful for you people to really find some solution which can cater all these needs. Thank you.